Okay, now, two quick things, folks, all right? I want to have Olivia have an opportunity to talk to you because Safe Streets is something that Olivia ran on. You can already see the leadership at, at the city. Uh, but then after that, I want us to do a family photo, okay? And then the wonderful folks in orange vests, thank you for looking after us on this ride that we just did from Scarborough. Uh, we're gonna do a slow roll, emphasis on the adjective slow, up to Queens Park, where we're gonna form the same circle that we've been doing all along and do some more learning and listening about how we can make roads safer here in the great city of Toronto or anywhere for which you're passionate, okay? So Olivia, over to you and thank you so much for being with us. Great energy. Hey, welcome to Nathan Phillips Square. I see a whole lot of um, my favorite people here. I see Matilla. I see, uh, oh, there's uh, a long time. I see Jessica Bell. Uh, oh, yeah, Chris Glover, of course. It's, it's your helmet that will yeah, yeah, throw yeah, me yeah. off. <laughs> uh, well, thank you for taking the leadership to bring us together, to protect us, and uh, making sure the legislature pass your private member's bill. Yes. Woo! Yes. It needs to be passed. Woo! I remember I was quite young and it was on Bloor Street and I got doored by a guy opening the door on the right. I went flying past my bike and cut myself, hurt myself and uh, I was, I had a racer at the time. Uh, I didn't stand a chance not being doored <laughs> because he just swung open the door. And um, he actually yelled at me yeah. and oh, said, great. how dare I, whatever it was that I don't remember. Uh, and I was young and foolish. And I was apologizing. I thought, oh, and how, in retrospect, what the heck was I doing? So I was hurt, but thank God no broken bones. So I was always looking for driver to open the door. Then on Bloor Street again, this time I got doored again by the passenger. So they catching me on the, on every side. And I, I was lucky because I wasn't riding very fast at all. It, so there was no broken bones. It could have easily been a lot worse. And um, so having protection that especially when it's a serious injury, that the driver needs to have consequences. If not, they don't, yes, it needs to have consequences. If not, it's just a cyclist, right? So I, I am so glad to all of you rode all the way from Scarborough, Scarborough. under tip, yeah, uh, to City Hall. <laughs> And I look forward to uh, the debate. Um, when is it coming up for debate? November 22nd. November 22nd. Are we all going to be at Queen's Park on November 22nd? Yeah! yeah. Okay, okay. Let's make sure it passed. And I, I have another one that I hope one of these days someone would pick up at Queen's Park. That we need safeguards on trucks. Yeah. Because, yes. Yeah. Far, yeah, far too many cyclists, far too many pedestrians as they are riding, you know, any time that when a truck make a right turn, they can't see there's a blind spot. Even if they check, they can't see what's behind them. And it could easily, uh, a pedestrian, or a cyclist could easily get caught between the front and the back wheel. Once you whip inside, you're, you're gone. 
right? And I've been to too many of those uh, sad funerals. Um, and uh, yeah, so if, you, if there's a safeguard, then you bounce off, you know? You can hurt a little bit, but you won't die, right? In fact, in England, it's a 60, when they, when they put that on, there's a 60% reduction of fatalities if there's a safeguard on. So, lots to do, and uh, us cyclists, healthy, good for the environment, strong, <laughs> smart. Save money. <laughs> huh? Save money. And we save money, of course, of course, yeah. <laughs> so keep riding. Thank you for coming out. The sun came out for you. Yeah, back to you. Thank you for taking the leadership. Oh, yay. Can we all just give a big round of applause for Olivia? Thank you for being here. city taking on the kind of shine and hope that it has thanks to you Olivia and the amazing team you're working with okay here's what we're doing all right are we ready to go up to the people's house yes. the people's house is here too I know <laughs> but this is a private members bill at the Ontario legislature so what we are going to do is we're going to set up a learning circle on the front lawn of the legislature they know we're coming okay uh, I'm gonna ask people in the orange vests right you know the route we're going to follow you, okay? There's going to be an opportunity for everybody to share your perspective about what road safety means to you. And I am so very thankful that you've come, particularly to my colleagues from Toronto who are here, Kristen, Jess, Mutilla, Chris. Thank you so much. Thank you so much and for being here. thank you, Chris. Joel. All right? Thank you, Joel. Thank you, Joel. Oh. Thank you, Joel. All right, so are we ready to roll? I didn't hear you. Are we ready to roll? All right. Oh, yeah, of course, the ADHD person forgets the phone.